It's a Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Living Daily, episode 941, Turn the Internet Off, Five Tips to Focus on Your Priorities, by Tammy Strobel of RowdyKittens.com, and I'm your very own personal narrator, Justin Mollick, reading to you from some amazing blogs and books to help you optimize your life. And if you ever wanna suggest an author for the show, let me know. I'm always open to check out writers who might be a good fit. We've had some new ones lately, which is exciting, some that are quite well-known, And if you want to suggest any others, you can come by oldpodcast.com to get in touch. And before we get to today's post, hiring is challenging, but there's one place you can go where hiring is simple and smart. That place is ZipRecruiter, where growing businesses connect to qualified candidates. Try it for free at ziprecruiter.com slash old. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. And now let's get right to it as we optimize your life. Turn the Internet Off, Five Tips to Focus on Your Priorities by Tammy Strobel of RowdyKittens.com. I've been free of email and Twitter updates on my phone for the last few months and haven't missed it. Why did I do this? To save money, focus on my art, and end my email addiction. A lot of folks have been talking about this topic lately and I think it's a good thing. Technology rocks and I'm a huge proponent of using tech for good. My career depends on technology. It is a beautiful tool, yet the way we use our mobile devices and computers is out of balance with the rest of our lives. Do we really need to surf, tweet, and email from our phones or computers all the time? What happened to being focused on our friends, family, and community? I hope you'll follow my lead and turn the internet off from your mobile device. If you can't do that, then start limiting the time you spend online. Here are a few things to think about and micro actions to consider. Number one, use your time wisely. Time is something we need to use wisely. I've stated this before, but it bears repeating. Time is a non-renewable resource and something we never get back. The way we use our time and what we trade it for, aka money, should be considered with care. If you're checking email or Twitter incessantly, you might reconsider how you're using your time. Micro action. How many times a day do you check your email, Twitter, or Facebook account? What could you be doing with your time instead? Number two, the all-consuming email addiction. I have to admit, during the last week, I've slipped back into my email addiction. Prior to my book launch, I checked my email three times a day. In the past week, I've checked way too much. I kept thinking, what if someone has a question? What if there's a problem with a book distributor? What if I don't sell any books? the what-if scenarios were silly. The launch was crazy successful, people gave me a tremendous amount of positive feedback, and there were no problems with the book distributor. But I was checking my email every 10 minutes earlier this week. I'm kicking myself now because I could have used that time to start outline ideas for my next book, be outside riding my bike, or taking photographs. We can have a healthy relationship with email. A number of bloggers have written amazing articles on this topic. For instance, one of my blogging heroes, Leo from Zen Habits, came out with an amazing new manifesto called Focus, a simplicity manifesto in the age of distraction. Microaction, read the Focus manifesto and implement some of the tips Leo offers in your own life. You'll be healthier, happier, and less distracted. Number three, observe your behavior. When I had email on my phone, I noticed that I would check email, Twitter, or surf the web when I was feeling uncomfortable, lonely, or bored. Rather than running from our emotions, I think it's important to observe them, understand the cause, and devise a solution. In my experience, distracting myself from a problem doesn't solve anything, it just makes the issue worse. Microaction, observe your behavior. When you decide to check your email or surf the web from your phone, why are you doing it? Is the behavior a necessity or are you feeling lonely or uncomfortable in a situation? Number four, focus on the important. We are all artists, but we can't make art and ship it by multitasking. Distracting yourself from creating art will kill it. For example, I could not have finished Simply Car Free if I'd been checking my email or Twitter stream every five minutes. Last year, Gwen Bell inspired me to write down a list of daily intentions. My daily intentions typically include from one to three creative items that I can accomplish every day. I used to write out long to-do lists and the items were not accomplished. The list was too overwhelming. 
by narrowing down my list to a few specific creative tasks and living outside of my inbox, I've accomplished a lot. Microaction, every morning write down one to three creative tasks you want to accomplish and read The Indispensable Guide to Time Jacking Your Way to Success. Number five, unplug and get your creative groove on. Getting your creative groove on doesn't require an internet connection. It's amazing what can happen when you step out from behind the computer screen or your mobile device. Most of my killer ideas come to me when I'm taking a walk or cooking a meal. Everyone is creative, and a lot of people tell me the same thing. Ideas come to them in odd moments. So make sure you keep a journal with you at all times. It's a perfect way to log all of your cool ideas. The past week has been exciting. I'm extremely grateful to everyone who purchased Simply Car Free and to all the folks who interviewed me about the book. I love the internet and all the cool folks I've met through Rowdy Kittens and social networks. However, it's break time. No Twitter, email, or surfing the web for me. Bike riding, walking, and finishing up a few science fiction novels are on the potential agenda. I'm going to go with the flow and see what each day brings. Microaction, schedule one day a week where you are free from tech. Leave your gadgets at home and do something non-tech related. Go for a bike ride, make a beautiful dinner, or volunteer at a nonprofit. Do good and change the world. You just listened to the post titled, Turn the Internet Off, Five Tips to Focus on Your Priorities by Tammy Strobel of RowdyKittens.com. I'll have some comments of my own, but first, thank you again to ZipRecruiter. Hiring used to be hard. Multiple job sites, stacks of resumes, a confusing review process. But today, hiring can be easy, and you only have to go to one place to get it done. ZipRecruiter.com slash old. ZipRecruiter sends your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards, but they don't stop there. With their powerful matching technology, ZipRecruiter scans thousands of resumes to find people with the right experience and invite them to apply to your job. ZipRecruiter is so effective that 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within the first day. And with results like that, it's no wonder that ZipRecruiter is the highest rated hiring site in America And right now, my listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address, ziprecruiter.com slash old. That's ziprecruiter.com slash old, ziprecruiter.com slash old. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. So for her first micro action, it said to think about the time you spend on your phone. If you've been listening to this podcast for a long time, you probably know that I like tracking things like all of my income and expenses, for example. And when it's automatic or close to automatic, it's even better. And there is a way to track your phone usage. Like on iPhone, there's an app called Moment, which will get pretty close numbers showing you how many hours you spend on what. That's a free app, by the way. That's iPhone and iPad only. It's called Moment. And then for Android, I haven't tried them, but there are a few like Off Time or Break Free and some others. So you can try those if you want. Let me know if you do and how it works. But I'll leave it there for today. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in tomorrow's show where we'll hear a post from James Altucher and where your optimal life awaits.